How's that? Oh, are we back? Can you hear us now? <laughs> well, should we start again? <laughs> Hang on. Can, can you hear us? Because oh. that was muted. Can people hear us? Oh, no, no. What sound. have I done? Yes, 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 yes. Hooray. There you go. Oh, good. Yeah, that. How was that muted? I didn't mute that. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Touched it. Rewind. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, just before we went live, we were we were just moaning about how a state in a state we look. My hair's gone all mental. I've smacked my head on something. Yeah, you've got funny red patches. Yeah, I've got caught the sun. And so, you couldn't hear us, so yeah, that was so a waste. So all you of time. saw was us just going. <laughs> I'm gonna rave. <laughs> oh dear. Right, it's been the usual chaos today, getting everything ready, having tea, and getting. Yeah, Sundays are like that because we're outsourcing most of the day, and then we get home and we don't have a lot of time to do much no and i had a rather long power nap because i'm going live on this channel for the reseller six pack but that's at one o'clock tonight because it has a time slot in america and although it's on my channel we're sticking to the time the same time slot so if you're still up at that time what will be tomorrow morning yeah come and join me uh the really fun show um right let's quickly see no, I didn't slap him. I honestly didn't. <laughs> you came in and your head was bleeding and you had no idea what you'd this done. Little, there was a cut up here. Um, I can't remember hitting my head. No sense, no feeling. <laughs> <laughs> right, quickly before the chat yeah. loses us, Lucy was first in and Polishek. And then we've got Chelsea. We bumped into a Chelsea today and you finally met him. Yes, that's yeah, good. So it's lovely to catch up again. Um, we went to a boot sale that has moved location. It's the first time we've been to its new location and they changed it. So it's now fenced in and it's three pounds a person to get in. Yeah. Whereas at its old location, you you just walked in whenever. So that was a bit of a shock to the system. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit, but it's going back to the old location next week, isn't it? Uh, if you say so. Is that what it said online? Yeah. Okay. So hopefully it will be free to get in again because yeah, we're they won't be thinking oh it's nice to charge we're typical charge. resellers and we're cheap and tight <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was well worth it because the first thing I picked up was a bit of a home run. Are well, you starting early, potentially. You? Um, we'll we can start the haul now. I'm okay. just going to say a few hellos. We've got lots of people popping in currently 123 viewers if you were here at the beginning i'm sorry for the first couple of minutes you couldn't hear us <laughs> we didn't have the mic switched on and i was also muted uh so yeah polish x says don't drink too much whilst running the show yeah i do need to stay sober this time yeah you weren't very last week were you <laughs> did i get drunk last week i think you did you did a couple before you started yeah um, yeah, lots and lots of people saying hello. There's Gary in there. Uh, falling on a bruise is Phoebe. No, it's Andrea. Every week. <laughs> Sorry, apologies. Uh, Hillsman, J Ben, Jason, Adam, Cats Rants, Kay. Okay, we need to kick off because we do have a lot of stuff. We went. Can you scroll down to the end though so that we can actually see what people are saying? Yeah. <laughs> wow, lots of chat going on. Yeah, people so, saying that they can actually hear us now. <laughs> thank you all for turning up to watch us ramble. Thankfully, oh, you can hear yeah. us. One man riot said so three pounds to get into a bloody car boot. Mm. I don't know. But that was only between ten thirty and eleven, wasn't it? Yeah, and they then it started to go down between eleven and twelve. It was less, and then again, it was like twenty p or something. Yeah, it's like an early so, entry. That Kaching was an auction I was running. You may have seen, maybe in last week's show, we showed those Monster High dolls. Mm -hmm. Well, I just bundled those together. Well, actually, I took two out and sold, listed those separately. They haven't sold yet at £25 for a pair. And the rest I put on 99p auction, knowing that the demand was insatiable for these things. It just finished at 51 51 That's 51 Not too bad, is it? Yeah, that was what I was hoping for. Um some bundles of similar size have gone for more but it depends a lot on the dolls you have yeah. so yeah that was cool and i paid we bought a couple from that chap we met didn't we and i bought another 
13 or 14 for yeah. 12 pounds or we something. We saw some today, but they wanted two pounds each for them. Yeah. So we left them behind. I'm, <laughs> with those, I think if they're a pound each, I'll pick them up. Otherwise, I'm just going to pick up bundles and just chuck them on like that again. Okay. Oh, um, Chelsea said yes, it's back to the old site next week. Okay, we may well be there. We didn't really have much intention on going out sourcing. A, because we've got loads of stuff anyway, and B, because my car, so my, <laughs> I say that every week, my car, the Ford, um, big Ford Focus Estate with loads of room in, has issues right now, and it's still in the garage. Um, and we've bought a brand new Mini. If you follow us on Facebook, you'll have seen the pictures. Or Instagram. Or Instagram. I do have a picture on here. Shall I show them what our lovely little car looks like? Yeah. And Andrew was saying that we're not using it for boot sailing. Yeah. I was adamant. I was like, it's not going to a boot sale. It's not going to have stock in it. And then the very next day, we went to a boot sale and put stock in it. And today we've been to a boot sale and we've been to um, a jumble trail. So yeah. So this is our new car. Whose car is this? It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Andrew's always fancied one of the new style minis. Um, so we spent all the hard head money and a bit more <laughs> quite a bit more to buy um andrew's dream car so yeah and what have you called it we haven't really called it anything yet um no no i don't know i asked ellen if she would name it but we haven't named it yet yeah we played with some names we were going to call it mickey like mickey mouse but <laughs> because of the mini <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah right we need to crack on with, with, with sharing <laughs> Because we've got a load of gear. So anyway, yeah, we, we did go to Bootsaw yesterday. Just the one. We went to a Saturday late in the day one. Didn't get masses, but a few interesting bits. Today yeah. we went we went to one that was cancelled because of bad weather. And the weather was that lovely. Was, yeah. That was ridiculous. And then we drove all the way to the Hatfield one, the one where we met up with Chelsea. And didn't get lots because we, we were only there for about an hour or so because we had to go and pick up Ellen, who's been on a night hike for the Duke of Edinburgh. Not a night hike. Well, she was out for a whole night. She was out for the whole night, but she wasn't hiking at night. Anyway, and then <laughs> we bumped into um, Janice, another friend of ours, a reseller, and she tipped us off that there was a garage trail in a little village near us. Yeah. So we went over there. I better start sharing stuff. We'll be here all day. <laughs> um, Lego? I paid three pounds on this purely because it was sealed. The Bionicles aren't really worth a lot if they're not new. Um, I quickly looked it up and I should be able to achieve 30 pounds, um, either eBay or Amazon. But because it's sealed, I'll probably just send it in my next Amazon box. I'm shadowing you if I do that. It's all right, I'm used to it. <laughs> so yeah, that was rather nice. And same stall. This was over at the Hatfield one. They had that. It was really odd. There were loads of people all crowd, crowded around the stall and nobody was picking up this really, really nice Lego Technic uh, JCB excavator. It's missing. I think it should have tracks on here. Um, I might pick those up. It's really nice. It's got switches and gearings in here so you can... That's lowering the grabber. And then you switch the gearing and now it's raising and lowering and you can control the grabber and all sorts of you're stuff. gonna have fun playing with that i already have <laughs> i was in here supposed to be looking up loads of this stuff i was just playing with it <laughs> um yeah hard to tell really on completed so there weren't that many and that weren't new or boxed or whatever and prices typically with this sort of stuff were all over the place i'm going to go buy it now at 40 to 50. And that was three. I think they wanted three for this and three for that. And I bought something else off them and I got a deal. Yeah. Can't remember. So probably 250. I think I got them to knock a pound off. So yeah, happy days with that. Yeah, was that the same place I got that um, soft toy? Was that a different store? Was it? Uh, maybe I got them yeah, to chuck maybe, in something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> um yeah, do you want to do do those bits because they're cool. Oh, okay. Well, Let this was to... from the uh, Jumble Trail today or Garage Trail. Um, picked up Mark Jacobs Lola um, perfume. Um, she wanted, how much did we get? 
give us that three pounds three pounds yeah, three pounds um it's barely been used um we're gonna shoot for about 30. i saw somebody that sold one as only used to test and the the line of liquid was almost exactly the same yeah um so i'm going to shoot for 30. i think we she literally tried it and didn't like it well, it was odd because she was saying how lovely it was and her friend was saying, is it lo such a lovely scent? And I thought, well, why are you flogging it for like... They were just trying to get us to buy it, that's why. A tenth of its value. It's a really cool pot though. Yeah. Pot? Yeah. Bottle? <laughs> Bottle, yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Now, if you so, don't know what... I mean, Mark Jacobs does lovely um, designs on his bottles anyway, so it makes it more collectible because the bottle's really nice. I bet you could sell the, the empty bottle, can't you? That's what she said, wasn't it? <laughs> it's when oh, you didn't... finished it, you can sell the bottle on eBay. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> mm. <laughs> if only you knew. If you don't know what a garage trail uh, or a garage trail, as, as, oh, no. as Lonnie You're would say. all American. Um, they're becoming quite popular around our area, and we want to start one in Hitchin. It's where you organise for um, a load of households to all have a sale at their house at the same time on the same day and then you produce maps and you hand out maps to people and they drive around all these different sales yeah on the same day and make an event of it yeah. and for resellers it's ideal because they're not generally that widely promoted so not many dealers turn up we went to this one about two or three hours late didn't we yeah but because he came home and had lunch and stuff like this yeah. and what andrew is about to show you which is really cool just sat on the table still yeah. well so. this particular um stall they had lots of oh i've all fallen out so oh we've far. been paid for the monster high dolls awesome um yeah they had lots of different vin vintage fisher price toys um but this one i, I just really wanted to pick up because i had it when i was little and it's completely absolutely it looks complete i mean there might be the odd thing missing but it has got all of its letters yeah. in the top and, there's letters inside. but importantly it's got i'll show this i can't get it out oh here we go it's called the fisher price school days desk yeah. it's got these magnetic letters and then you have these sheets in here yeah and you have to like fill in the stuff on there yeah so you pop that on the desk it smells smoky yeah is that is a problem. shame so i didn't notice was... at the time but it's been in a smoky house and it reeks of it yeah so i don't know what quite what we can do about that but we should now I look, I look these up we're gonna have to get that smell off otherwise we won't be able to sell it we and paid three and the most i've seen one go for is 30. um they're finishing as low as ten pounds, um, but you know, average complete ones are about twenty to thirty top end. Yeah. So if we can make it smell acceptable, <laughs> it was a good pickup. Yeah. <laughs> but you wanted it just for the yeah, sake of just it anyway. For, you know, nostalgia really. And they had other mm -hmm. Fisher Price stuff, didn't they? And Weebles and this and that. Yeah, and then they, they started. Yeah, a lot of other Fisher Price. But they started saying, yeah, this is worth X and Y on eBay and you can get X and Y for this on eBay. And it, I don't know, I probably should have bought more stuff. The prices were OK. Yeah, We've had that a lot this weekend from people mm. on different stores at boot sales all going, oh, you can sell that on eBay for so and so. Like, OK. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Maybe I will. Yeah. But yeah, they just really put my back up. Yeah, I actually put something down yesterday that I wasn't really sure on because he started going on about me selling it on ebay and I thought, yeah just, I, mean, I don't really care it just oh i don't know i just don't just want to hear it irritates me <laughs> right let's see sorry we're ignoring the chat we will go back a bit and see what's going on uh oh there's lisa in there and shing bobs um yeah. shing bob says he met i don't know if that's a he or a she actually they met a couple of resellers in a charity shop i work in they watch your videos Hello, if you are there, I think her name was Mandy. Yeah. Hi, Mandy. <laughs> Shing Bob's met you. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, oh, Steve's in there. Steve Green. Yeah, How I are you? think Tex has popped in as well. Yeah. Yeah, Margaret. Margaret was live a short while before us. Yeah, I think I was, she is I was every, watching. every Sunday. Uh, Malinky's saying that the most expensive book I have listed is at £100. Cool. I did pick up some books in charity shop for FBA actually. We're really dark. 
Yeah, I don't know why. Forgot the lights on. Um. Um. Yeah. So um, CP Crafts is in, um, which is Karen, I've learned recently. Um, I think that Zaheer and Beck actually talked about your issue that you were having with um, the final value fees. Um, oh, because yes. Because of the Gallery Plus, that there was a glitch with eBay and they, they were adding on like £2.50 for Gallery Plus. Um, and that was just literally bulk um, selling similar and the, suddenly these gallery fees were appearing um ebay were aware of the of the glitch and um actually refunded karen but yeah it's just i know that uh, sahir and beck talked about it but have a look at your bill <laughs> just in case because there's been a little bit of um, well we had issues with that glitch. years ago because we were switching categories on certain items when we were using templates yeah and you randomly this glitch would have yeah, occur it still and it would does charge it. you. It still does it, but it's easy to change now when I'm listing on desktop. But how the hell have eBay not sorted that out? I don't know. Or put a little warning. I don't know, because we have phoned them in the past and, and told them about it and they said they're aware of it. Yeah, when we came across this and, and we were charged fees we weren't aware we were incurring, we've rang up eBay and they've they've taken mm. them all off. But you have to so, catch it, you have to see it. So yeah. Cool. Should we carry on? Let's see if there's a, um, any questions we can quickly do. Uh, it's going to mainly be a haul because we picked up a load of quite interesting stuff. At least we think it Jing is. Jing Bob says she's female. Oh, hi, <laughs> Jing Bob's. Okay, female. I'll try and remember that. Um, I was going to say, if you do have any questions, you can pop them in. We'll try and get around to them as well. Oh, Paul says, greetings from Glastonbury. You're at Glastonbury watching us? Who's, Are you insane? Who's on, is it? Well, no, the well, we've got it on. on yet. We've got so, it on in the other room. Yeah, we? Ella Alt was J. watching Alt J, but that wasn't live. She was watching it back. Cool. My sister and her husband are there. Yeah, they um, go every year, don't My they? pregnant sister, so she's not on the booze this year. No, she said she might end up going off on her own because she'll get annoyed with how drunk everyone is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, let's carry on. I've got loads of random bits. Uh, picked up a Sims 3 for 50 pence. Always worth going on. Um, I think Amazon, I've, I've managed to get about 20 for that before used, so they're cool. Sipping the tea while you're doing that. This was from the same place as that um, vintage desky thing. Desky uh, thing, that's the technical term. For right? a pound. I think I had one of these in green, or I remember something very similar. It's a little transporter, like a car transporter. Is it Matchbox? Yeah, Matchbox. Yeah. Um, I've done well on bits like this. Um, it's not the greatest condition, but it's okay for its age. It's about as old as me. It's looking better than me. So yeah, for a pound, I'd always pick those up. Okay, and I just um, following up on what Karen was saying that she said it doesn't show up when you actually do the bulk sell similar. It doesn't show up as a fee then, but then it just appeared on the bill. Yeah. So that's even scarier. Really. That must catch loads of people out. I was saying in Zaheer's chat, I, I never bother checking my bill. I just pay it. Yeah, I don't. I, I do perhaps when I'm at the end of the year when I'm printing them off for tax. But it's a bit late then. I know, exactly. Yeah. Our eBay bill was pretty larger than usual <laughs> this month, or will be. Have we had that bill yet? Yeah. With the hard head yeah. stuff yeah, on it? Yeah, just had it. Big chunk of fees there. Um, picked up this guy because he was tagged. Uh, I don't. I haven't checked him on Amazon yet. He's a uh, cookie monster and he's a hand puppet. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, he's really quite cool. He's a, he's a gunned one, G-U-N-D, I think. Yeah. Was it gunned? No, gunned. gunned. Yeah, so quite a good brand. For 50p, I'll give it a whirl. This is yeah, odd. this is awesome. I Love didn't this. buy these. Well, I didn't know I'd bought these. <laughs> They're eBay Christmas lights. Yeah, How epic bag, is that? Well, well, I reckon you take the mistletoe thing off and we could just have them in, in the tap cave. Do you think? Yeah. Or we could give them away as part of our prize draw thing we're going to do. Well, we could, but I like them. They're USB, aren't they? So you can... Yeah. So USB, eBay Christmas lights. Um, they were in the bottom of this box. Nothing exciting. It's just a Nerf. Um, what was the model? Can't remember. Recon. 
which I have built up. Oh my God, my toad's fallen off. Um, yeah, one of those, I paid a couple of pounds for it. And also in the box was a cassette, a blues cassette and those lights and some random rubbish. So yeah, anyway, oh, and and there was actually three magazines in it, uh, which are worth a good more than two pounds each, and an official Nerf ammo belt. And I sold those on their own before. Can't remember what for. Maybe a tenner. Mm -hmm. Happy days. Awesome. Um, there's more Nerf stuff there, but nothing exciting. I picked up some of these. If you see them and they're cheap, they're worth going on. Sainsbury's have had a promotion recently where you spend ten pounds and you get one. And it's Lego collector's cards. Um, I've got, I sold some last week, actually, and we've since had some more. So I'll lump those together. Probably about 10 is worth there. And they were 10 pence a pack. Do you want to talk about these? Did you, I can't remember who found these. Did you find these? I, you saw one, I saw the other. Oh, it's on the same store, wasn't yeah. it? More Disney mugs. I, to, um, I don't know what to do with this pair. Yeah. We're finding yeah, Disney mugs very, really cool. very hit and miss at the minute, though. Some are sticky. <laughs> some are sticky. Or well, some, as in they don't. Need to wash them. As in they don't sell. This one is Disney Store. Do you want to go nearer the mic? Let's see that. You can slide under there a bit. There you go. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Disney Store, both the Disney Store exclusives. So, yeah. Yeah, and, and we bought um, a plush Eeyore as well, didn't we? But yes. Ellen's been that so now we her. asked the the older lady on the stool or i did and she charged me a pound for the mugs and then you asked the young lady and she was asking 50p yeah so I should, i'd already paid asked. for mine <laughs> should have asked her in the first place anyway don't know without looking them up some disney mugs we find sell straight away and mm. for pretty good money others just yeah. we've had one on for months on end haven't we a piglet one mm. so we'll see don't know Oh, yeah, this... but the piglet one isn't official Disney. Oh, that'll be one. Then. Yeah. This was cool. This is a Pikachu bauble, like a Christmas decoration. So it calls it a yeah decorative ornament. No idea if there's any money in it. It was a pound, wasn't it? Yeah. Trying to remember, I bundled it in with a load of other stuff. But he's cool. Never been out of the box. Uh, same stall I got. A Furby Boom for four pounds. Oh, cool. These are the fairly recent electronic Furbies. Now the LCD eyes and the ears move and all sorts. Um, currently on eBay, about 20 these are going for, but probably would get more at Christmas. Amazon, they go for more, about 30 plus. So happy to find that. <clears throat> Let's just scroll down the chat. Right. Uh, do you want to read some chat? Um, yeah, I went right down to the bottom, so I don't, don't know what we've missed. Louise wants the Pikachu. <laughs> if you if you seriously want it, yeah, just message me and, and make me an offer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was random. On the Saturday one, we were buying some plush, which is in the living room, actually. Yeah. And we were showing interest in bits and bobs, weren't we? Uh, and I picked this up because I had this very thing. Well, I I bought um, a duvet cover, didn't I? Oh, that's, that's from yeah. Yeah, we bought a duvet cover and some plush in the end off that yeah. stool. Anyway, while you were looking at the duvet cover, checking condition, and talking about a price, he saw me looking at this. I had this when I was a kid. It's a Reader's Digest telescope, and I used to use it for bird watching. So I was into bird watching oh thank you tex oh oh wow oh, it's just yeah margaret's just super chatted super us five dollars oh thank you you guys rock <laughs> she says so do you two th no, two thousand eleven thousand subs um margaret's reached she was saying earlier oh wow well done yeah yeah that's fantastic she, she's catching up with us at, oh, at a pace now sprinted behind us <laughs> anyway the guy saw me looking at this and i was only really interested because i had the exact same thing as a kid and then he when you bought the duvet thing he just said oh and take that 
you know, and have it as a gift. Yeah, he just randomly gave and this little in my hand. Britain's <laughs> toy. <laughs> what, what is going on? I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but those do sell no more than like four or five pounds. But yeah, it was just really odd. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice man. Yeah. Um, some random. We went on a charity shop rummage, didn't we? <laughs> Gary says bird watching. Wink, wink. <laughs> Yes, you know what I mean. I was in the Young Ornithologists Club. Yeah, he really was. I had a little badge and everything. <laughs> I know you were, because Katie was when we got together. And she was 11 at the time. In the YOC. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some media bits for FBA. We went um, charity shopping yesterday, didn't we? Around Letchworth, which was quite nice. Yeah, so uh, we had the weekend to ourselves. And what do we do? We go out and just buy stuff. <laughs> We went out on a date night as well. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, spent the night in the pub without Ellen. Um, I took a picture of Andrea in the charity shop. Again, if you follow us on Facebook, the link for that might be below, not sure. Um, you'll see this stuff that we talk about. I took a picture of you head down rummaging in a box of plush. Yeah, unbeknownst to me. And one of our <laughs> followers on there has eagle eyes because he saw this in the background on a shelf about that size. That sort of size in the background and said, Oh, Nick, those goon show box sets can be good. And I posted that like after the event. But yeah, I did buy it and it's sealed. And the cheapest on Amazon is about £50. How likely it is I'll get 50 out of it, I don't know. But yeah, I will certainly try. And that was £4 or four fifty, something like that. But yeah, always take a punt on sealed media. And those other bits are pretty good, those yoga and zumba. Um, what else is worth sharing? Oh, you may have also seen, I don't know if I shared it on Facebook, we picked up a an IKEA cupboard handle on a pair of handles for 50 pence at the Datchworth Fate where I helped yeah. out. And that sold within a week for £25 with £5 shipping. And we saw these. These are IKEA. I can't get it in the light, right? Oh, there you go. Taktar? Taktar. They've got stickers on at a pound each. Um, and I was considering that. Yeah, and, and then he said a pound for the lot. And then he's, because we showed some interest, he just jumped on us, didn't he? he went, yeah, and then he told us how much we could probably get for them on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was, aren't they? It's like I go around with eBay written on my forehead. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he jumped on us. And I was just considering, should I, should I spend the fiver on five of these? And he said, you can have the lot for a pound. Go on, go on, have the lot for a pound. I went, okay. You just talked yourself out of four pounds, mate. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what money's in them. I couldn't really find any completeds on these. So, but I'm sure my pound is safe there, considering we got 25 out of another pair similar. Okay, so that's those. Yeah. Um, Virginia Hodgen says, oh, Hi, Nick and Andrea. Can I ask, where do you make most of your money on eBay or Amazon? It's probably about even, is it? It's about even. And then at Christmas, as long as we put the effort in getting stock up to Amazon, as we did last year, yeah. Amazon just goes through the roof. Yeah. Um, but yeah, currently it's pretty even. I think eBay's sometimes ahead if we put the work in. Yeah, it just sort of does that, doesn't it? And if a couple of boxes arrive at Amazon, that will be you know right up for a few days as the good stuff gets picked yeah. off yeah. yeah depends where we're putting the effort in really um sorry just reading chat <laughs> were you wearing the ebay lights at the time nick <laughs> yeah that would be a giveaway <laughs> have these slung over my shoulder they are so cool it's i can see a new profile pic coming up <laughs> We could do a profile pic for our Facebook like this. <laughs> yeah. It, it was quite freaky when I was opening up that box with the Nerf stuff and out pulled eBay lights yeah. from an item that I'm going to sell on eBay. It was just That's odd. It's also so random that you'd have eBay Christmas lights. There must have been like a promotional thing. I, yeah, I think they were a giveaway from eBay. Yeah. Promo thing. How funny. But we'll see. I mentioned earlier that we're going to do a giveaway. And um, Tex is in the chat. She's great at doing giveaways. We've never really done that. Got mm. something stuck to me. Ah. Um, but we are rapidly approaching two million views, which is quite a big deal for us. And we thought we'd do some sort of giveaway when we get there. 
So, yeah, I don't know how soon that will be, but, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. Shall I carry on or do you want to do something? Um, you, you bought quite a lot of clothing, haven't you? I did, but I'm not going to show it all today. You've just got I a just handful. Bore everybody. We'll do those um, cool ones you got. Yeah. So this was actually my pickup of the weekend. Um, I've got three vintage Laura Ashley dresses. They're not particularly hold in that terms thought, of... Hold that thought. Ooh. N Parker has just super chatted us two oh, pounds. Wow, thank you. Made 20 times this from watching your channel thanks oh, thank you so much that is so appreciated wow i'm glad we've helped you make some money mate <laughs> oh, i love super chat it's so cool that people are able to yeah. you know yeah so they're not Sorry. particularly <laughs> <laughs> in terms of vintage law actually not particularly special they're just jersey sort of day dresses they're maxi dresses um so yeah really quite long they're um yeah let me hold on up Oh, they are really soft. Yeah. So, how old do you think these are? I think they're eighties. And are they sought judging after? from the label? Um, if you can see the label without a glare. Let me get it closer. So, there's a demand for these. So yeah? there is. There's a couple that have got sort of button down, and a tie waist. Um, yeah. Um, they are sought after. Vintage Laura Ashley is really sought after. But as I say, in terms of vintage Laura Ashley, it's probably further down the scale. Um, it's really style and print are something to sort of take into account. But you'll always make money on vintage Laura Ashley. Um, you can get like those, I've seen that there's sailor dresses with the sailor collar. Do you remember them from the 80s? Oh, kind of. Princess yeah. Diana used to wear them. Yes, yeah, I know. Um, yeah, they they go really well, oh. and um, the more sort of cottony type dresses. And so, what what did you um, pay on these? I paid four pounds each. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just wanted to show. Oh, that. I remember I was, the I was sale just now. Really, yeah, no, I know. I was I was on one affairs. side of this was a um, local car boot sale to us. I was on one side, looking at something or other. It might have been those still with those handles. And then Andrea went, oh, and saw her clothes rail, ran off. And I had all the money on me. So, so you said, oh, I think we need some money. So I gave Andrea a 20 pound note. She dashed off, came back with three dresses. <laughs> yeah. I went, oh, right, they're cool. Yeah. And then the lady came to me. And then we and started said, rummaging. You didn't take your change. Really. The lady comes running up and says, yeah, here's I your was, eight pounds we change. We had literally just dropped Ellen off for her Duke of Edinburgh. And my head was away in the clouds you I were just, stressing I was really stressed <laughs> her bag i just i've never seen anything like it she's come home with bruises on her hips and oh, we need to get her a better bag when she does the actual expedition this is just a practice Rucksack. um yeah but we borrowed one from um nick's sister and it was massive and but it then Chloe, too, her friend, her. <laughs> Chloe, her friend, had an expensive, decent fitting one, and she was in pain on her yeah, hips. She was, but they're, they're just not used to it. That's all it is. Yeah, I know. They had a lot of weight to carry. But anyway, um, yeah. So I was just really excited because I've never seen any vintage Laura Ashley before. So I was really excited about that. Um, I should. I'm hoping for twenty five to thirty back each on those. Each. Yeah. Winning. Well, I'm. I'm hoping so. Well, start there, yeah. yeah. See what happens. Yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, that's my pick up of the weekend. Do you want to save that bit? Shall I carry on? Um, yeah, you can carry on. Right. Uh, let me see what's. Uh, Gary says IKEA will be naming a new range of furniture after you two. <laughs> Wardrobe the tat. <laughs> what? Uh, um. Oh, people saying well, yeah, well done. Yeah, they ought well to done. rename the, the IKEA Kallax because the amount of resellers that have IKEA Kallax. Oh yeah, the white square. I've got square it in things. my office, and I've seen other people with it. I think um, people generally just have those. They're so popular. Yeah. Yeah. And I recently found out if you've got the, if you know what I'm talking about, and you've got um, the boxes, the floral boxes. I've recently found out they were designed by Kath Kidston. So. I'm that makes quite sense. Pleased about that. I'm starting to boil up. Oh, oh Andrea really picked hot. this up for me today. I really like this. Are you wearing it over your t-shirt? I just chucked it on over my t-shirt <laughs> to try it on and then we went live. 
I'm now boiling. Now you're boiling. I won't strip live on air. Shall I open the door? If you like. We might hear Glastonbury through there. Not the actual Glastonbury, but on, on telly. <laughs> yeah. We've got Glastonbury next door. Um, okay. Uh, the Hillsman 25 has a question. Let's have a look. Oh, I also saw a question about Laura Ashley, so you just have to pop okay. back up in a minute. Um, the Hillsman says, question Nick, how do you get stock back from Amazon? For example, if I wanted to get four of my Lego books back, how would I do it? Um, yeah, you just you go into your stock management thing and you can select items to be recalled. They will charge you. Um, it's like about 50 to 70 P an item. I think it depends on the weight of the item. Um, and yeah, and then you select where you want it sent back to. So yeah, you can do that anytime, but it does cost you. And when I had a load of stuff sent back that was really sticky and a waste of time being there, the costs on some of the stuff I had back, it wasn't even worth doing. Mm. The other option is to get it destroyed, but you still have to pay for Amazon just to get rid of it. So yeah, just bear that in mind. Um, I'm more selective now on what I send up for those, for those reasons and the fact that we are charged monthly as well as long-term storage fees. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was the question you were going to look at? Oh, just if we go back a little bit. Um, this one? Lisa. Yes. Oh, Lisa said, um, my daughter has a vintage Laura Ashley black velvet short evening dress with beaded detail on the neckline. What time of the year is best to sell it? Oh, I don't know. Every... Oh, I would say. That doesn't no. sound very seasonal to me. No. Any time, really. And also, we've said but, this before, I don't know. With, with seasonal clothing, leave it listed. Yeah. Because we've sold, well, only the other week we sold it, a really thick padded baby snowsuit, snowsuit. Yeah. on like the, the sweltering <laughs> week we had, like a week or so yeah. back. Because yeah. people are always going on holiday to cold places or to hot places when it's cold and vice versa. And when you think about it, those ranges are not in the shops at that time. So eBay is where people go to buy out of season clothes. So yeah. we tend to leave our stuff on now, don't we? You could see that <laughs> look at my face, I was a little bit like, I don't know what time of the year is best. But yeah, I just think any time really. Mm. Um, I don't know. I mean, if it's a party dress, it's probably going to sell more at Christmas, but it could be any time. Because I mean, proms yeah. are coming up now, and yeah, there are there yeah. are times when things will sell much better. It's like if you've got yeah. swimwear, summer, it will sell a lot yeah. quicker. But it doesn't mean it won't sell in the middle of winter, yeah. because there's always people going on holiday. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, and we found when we had the shop, we had the kids' clothes shop, that we would sell lots of um, swimwear in in the winter because um, the shops just stopped stocking it. Mm -hmm. They'd only seasonally stock it in in the summer, so people would come in to us and say, "Oh, just I'm looking for just a normal swimming costume. I can't find one anywhere." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the high street shops are all about big turnover, and they only have their shelf space is so valuable to them. They only put the stuff on that's going to sell quickly. So out of season stuff is just out on its ear. So we did well on out of season stuff because those few people that were looking for it came to us. Okay, I'm waffling again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, some of this might be interesting. This I loved as a child, and it is worth picking up. You all know I'm a game, um, a board game addict, <laughs> and not all board games are worth picking up. This is quite a nice one. This is perfection, where you put in all of the shapes. Let me know in the chat if you remember this. This was from that yeah, same it's place. It's a bit smoky. This smells a little bit damp as well it's Just, probably been in an attic or something for a long time yeah anyway if you're you're if you are our age struggling to get my words out <laughs> you'll remember this you you push the the tray down then you had to fit in all of the shapes before it sprung them all up we've had like sort of cheap versions of this haven't we for when we've gone camping or whatever i think somebody bought me one like as a retro sort of gift didn't yeah. they one christmas Anyway, this is the exact one I had as a kid in the early 80s, late 70s. And it's complete. Oh, look at that with the, the brown and the yellow. It's very yeah, 70s, it's very, it? very 70s. Such a cool thing. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, and I did write down, 
eBay um, currently about 20 if it's complete and working. You'd have to check the timer works on these as well. Uh, Amazon, there is a listing for it. Uh, about 30 on there I might shoot for. But I think it had quite a high rank. So I don't know. Nice thing. I keep getting that whiff. Yeah. So that was that. Um, I took a punt on this one. These were 50 pence each. That is a good one. This is a waste of time. This is a fail. But I do like to pick up games I've not seen before if they're cheap, just to have a play and to find out if they're worth doing. That one's called Booby Trap. Similar era. Look at those kids. It's so like 70s. Um, but yeah, just no demand for it. So avoid that one. Someone's asking about bag pusses today. Bag puss? Is that on the shelf? Oh, he's around. We still haven't got rid of him. No. You can sit there stroking your sit there and... cat. <laughs> <laughs> Fill in the blank. Oh, these are those books I found. We went charity rummaging, didn't we? Um, there was a box on the floor with a load of music tab, guitar tab and, and uh, tuition books. I just scanned them all and bought the ones that were worth selling on Amazon. So there's those. They were a pound each. And modern method for guitar, like a tuition book. Great big fat thing. Again, for a pound. So they will just be sent up to Amazon. Yeah. This was a nice little pickup. This was what I was buying when you went and bought those Laura Ashley and left your change with the woman. Yeah. Uh, was this. It's This is worth picking up. It's one of the Lego board games. This is the Harry Potter Hogwarts one. And this chap was waffling on about eBay. He wanted £8. I got it for 7 And um, he was telling me how much they were worth on eBay. Little did he know, I'd already scanned it into Amazon, and it's worth a lot more on Amazon. <laughs> um, eBay, they're all over the place, but 20 by it now is achievable. Amazon. <coughs> You're laughing at the chat. I'm laughing at Graham, who says, can, Nick, can you tell the price of items by sniffing them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sort of. I can tell that those smoky things are going to be a struggle to sell, mm. unless we can sort them out. Uh, yeah, going back to this quickly, Amazon uh, 30 to 40. I think I got 40 on this last time at Amazon. So, yeah, they are worth doing. He did tell me it was missing a flag piece, one of these corner flags, but that will be easy to replace. Yeah. So, um, Lisa is asking how much Bagpuss is. Um, she might like to buy him. So, um, privately message us afterwards and we'll, yeah. we'll talk to you about him. I'm becoming a little bit attached. I know. <laughs> He's beanie. He's one of those you put him in the yeah. microwave. Never put cats in microwaves, people. But he's designed for it. <laughs> but yeah, drop us a message. Um, this, I thought, was going to be a, a really nice pickup. Turns out it really isn't. How cool does that look? Captain Scarlet. I didn't... This is how much attention I was paying. I thought it was a board game. It's a colouring activity set. Oh. See what I mean? Yeah. Did you not realise either? Well, I wasn't really looking. No. Um, but I opened it up. I need to blow my nose again. <laughs> this was the same store where I got Random. my bit of a home run. Hang on. Excuse me, folks. Yeah, I opened it up and realised that the that all of the, what I thought were like sort of pieces for the game are still on their cards and they've not been punched. Um, and everything is just brand new in here, but I didn't go right down below to see that it's got a load of pens and paints in it. <laughs> but in its condition, which is effectively unused, it might be worth something, but people were struggling to sell them, so that was that wasn't great. And they wanted three pounds for it, but same store. Was it the same store? I think it was. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was, because we went back to them, didn't we? Was this? Now, it wasn't one I'd heard of, um, so I quickly looked it up. It's The Legend of Zagor, Zagor, I don't know. Who knows? It's one in the sort of vein of Hero Quest, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, that sort of thing. And 
I searched completed and I've said recently one went for a hundred uh, with free shipping and that was complete I haven't checked everything but inside it looks really good it's got loads of it's a it's like got a um, talking voice box thing I don't know what it does I haven't put batteries in and tested this yet and then it's got loads of like um, plastic bits of set and stuff you build it all up really cool thing and then lots of figures and cards and it's gonna take me a good half hour to test it not test it check it but yeah hopefully if that's complete I will aim high very few on eBay have been sold so I think it's quite a genuinely rare thing so that was my find of the day another board game that I'd never seen before turns out it's quite valuable so the Captain Scarlet was a fail and the Zagor bit of a win do you want to do your little bits again yeah, yeah. Hard. stroke the furry one um, yeah, I've only got a couple of bits. This again is vintage. This is uh, vintage Basler. Can you be able to show that label? Basler? Never heard of it. I think that's how you pronounce it. I might be wrong. Um, but it is a skirt suit. So you've got the shirt and like a pleated skirt to go with that. And I'm going to shoot for about forty pounds for the, the, well, the two together. Did you say it's vintage then? Yes, it's vintage. And I remember you buying that pound an item, wasn't it? Yeah, so two pounds spent on that. Cool. Yeah. And Someone... then I just had one other thing that I picked up today. This was um, I picked this up on the garage trail today. The lady. Well, it was it's all those old ladies, wasn't it? They all sat around the table having a cup of tea and offered us one when we arrived. <laughs> oh, this was the the garage trail thing we went to. Yeah. They they gave us a map. Well, we we were there really late, and some of the stalls had already packed up and given up, even though it said on the leaflet thing. Yeah, until four. Until four, there some had gone anyway. And they gave us a map, and the printed out map on it was there was no roads. Yeah. There, there were street names on it, but we, then no we roads. Ended up just how using google maps didn't we yeah um yeah great. she had a rail full of um it was obviously her clothes so they were vintage um but most of them weren't in that great condition but these were brand new still and they are I find the label yes oh inside they are foster foster yeah and they're pure wool I paid a pound for them, so I'm hoping to get about 20 to 25 back on them. Nobody needs to see this, so I'm going to go and take this long sleeve top <laughs> it's gonna, off. It's going to strip off. You, you talk about your trousers for a minute. I've finished talking about my trousers, really. <laughs> yeah. So, la la la, I don't know what to say now. He's stripping off in the corner. <laughs> you go all weird when you're on your own, don't you? I don't know what to say. <laughs> Oh, I can show off my cool T-shirt. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm wearing my Common Sense T-shirt today. I don't know if you can read that. It says, Common Sense is so rare these days, it should be classed as a superpower. Sorry, I can read. I'm having to read it backwards on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> it was like me the other day when I was trying to read my Harry Potter T-shirt. Yeah. I think that is so true. Yeah. Right, we've missed loads of chat. There was people well, people getting a bit freaked out. About... You, you left just as I'd finished talking about the trousers, and I was like, okay, I don't know what to talk about now. Um, right, so we've read up to there. Chelsea also is painful to watch, Nick. Was that me when I was stroking the cat? I don't know. <laughs> Chelsea, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, one man riot says oh my god legend of zagor i love that game amazing yeah it's interesting that you've heard of it because i've not seen it or heard of it yeah. and that's right lisa up my street. said it's pronounced zagor so well adam butler says nick it's pronounced and then just yeah, writes no, it as it's spelled i think that was a joke <laughs> um yeah 
<laughs> Peter. Uh, Pete's I'm assuming, oh my god, hideous is that? <laughs> that skirt suit. Yeah, it is pretty hideous. I wouldn't wear it. <laughs> Pete's retro, retro collectible says he'd done 10 listings today. And that's most in all week. So does he mean that's the most he's done all week? I've done very little this week. We've been busy buying new cars. And yeah, we've had a bit of a sorting strange out. week because I've been getting Ellen ready for Duke of Edinburgh. Oh, and we had my nephew David come and yeah. stay with us. Our living living room stroke dining room is full of Lego. Yeah. We I picked up a great big haul of Lego going back a couple of months. I think it was 80, 85 pounds, massive Lego city hall. And my nephew David um, is on work experience and he's going around lots of different people and he came to stay with us for two days. So his work experience with us was testing building Nerf Lego guns sets. and then building Lego sets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all over the living room. I need to complete a couple more sets and then I'm going to finish a video. I've been vlogging it, so that'll be coming soon. Yeah, I'm hoping you're going to do it fairly soon. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> our our yeah, dining room table's so covered. Of Half of the floor in the living room is... Yeah, and Monty keeps snuffling through all the trays on the floor yeah i know I'm worried he's going to eat try and eat some he won't eat it is he that daft yes he is daft <sighs> yeah um okay oh chris guts is in there hey question apologies if already asked but is tonight your night for hosting the six pack yes good question it is if you are crazy enough to stay around till one o'clock in the morning, it will be live on this channel with all my good American reseller friends. I don't know how many people are joining me tonight. Uh, the chat is called the six pack because it's a drinking show. Effectively, Effect we drink beer and talk about reselling. So that's going on tonight on my channel. There is a link to it available already. I, I set up the uh, I scheduled it a few days ago. Um, Oh, someone's already answered the question anyway. <laughs> right, let's just scroll down. Oh, it jumped. Um, say what now has a question. You can answer that one. It's got your name oh. there as well. Um, can I ask your thoughts on clothes prices? I see the same item selling for five and for 20. Why is this? Do you always try the higher price? Um, and does having more of the same items increase sales well the first the answer to the first question is uh, yeah i always go for the higher price if i see something list the same item listed for five and well it depends what the completed are so if i see something that's sold for five the same thing is sold for 20 i'll try 20 because somebody was willing to pay 20. yeah so it's worth trying um if you i can... don't know why people price weirdly a lot of it i think comes down to because they were listed on auction and that's all they got to yeah or it is just a, a personal private seller just wanted to clear stuff quickly so they just yeah. put it on for loan. you have to remember lots and lots of people who sell on ebay don't even know you can check completed listings people that find our channel one of the first things they say quite often is i didn't even know you could check prices mm. so people often list completely blind which is why you're able to get bargains from ebay and resell them on ebay and the other thing is you know things will sell at five pound and the same day sometimes sell at 20 pounds mm. on buy it now and it just seems weird but you think about it if you're that buyer and you go on and you see both those you're going to buy the cheap one and then it's gone the next buyer who logs in he's only got the 20 pound option and he buys that and he's happy yeah so it's yeah if you price higher generally you will have to wait a bit longer to get that moment when you either find that buyer who particularly wants your one yeah. or yours is the only one on there or an international buyer wants it and you're the only one with international shipping so you have to make yours stand out in some way i believe with good pictures good description international shipping all of those things yeah um but that's yeah. for another video um, we need to do a video all about that so for the second question, does having more the same items increase sales? Not really sure on the question, really. It might be if you have a multi-listing with multiple items. In which case it does help because if you get sales on a listing with multiples, you get pushed up the best match yeah. search rankings. Yeah, so in that case you do. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Good question. 
Um, oh, Chelsea's, I, I assume referring to Zagor, says the game you picked up, I looked at and walked by. Yeah, we actually, I actually spoke to Chelsea about that, didn't yeah, I, when we, did. we met him? Yeah, I wasn't sure on it. I nearly picked it up just on instinct, and then I, I quickly looked it up while I was stood there anyway mm. and thought, ooh, hmm. yeah. <laughs> Okay, let me see if there's anything else quickly. One man wire. I've got loads of the Lego board game things. I can't list them until I count them all. Yeah, you do need to check them so you can at least say it's complete or not. In that big hall of Lego, there's I think four or five. Yeah. And so far they've all come up complete apart from one. Um, and then one man right also says, why do you look at completed listings and not sold listings? I always look at sold listings. Yeah, I do mean sold. Um, I sometimes click completed first and then you can compare how many finished, let's say a thousand of an item finished, and then you click on sold and it's only 10 have actually sold. You know the demand is really slim. Mm. So comparing how many were listed as to how many actually got buyers gives you that bit more information. So you might think, actually I do need to be quite competitive on price here because loads of people are listing whatever it is one of these for example and out of 500 in a, in a three month period maybe five sold you need to you know work hard to sell it whereas if out of 500 listed 450 sold the demand is huge yeah. so that's all that gives you but yeah you are right you need to find out what actually sold that's where your real information is yeah yeah um Shall I carry on? Yes. We've done. That's just a Simpsons Monopoly. The box is a bit smashed up, but I bought it for spares. Uh, it's one that I tend to sell at Christmas again. Oh, this was this was from that garage trail thing where there's a group of ladies. We, we rocked oh, up yeah. to this house, and they've got a great big table out in their front garden, and there was like six old ladies all sat around with teapots, cups of tea. It was like the Mad Hatter's tea party in a front <laughs> garden. And we're like, oh, hi. And then they had these tables all set up in their driveway. And we had to look around. And I bought this. I, I showed some interest. And then they were like, oh, Margaret, he wants, he's looking at your thing, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, she came over and she said that she had never used this. And it's totally unused. There's not a single, you know scratch on it it's a kenwood no i did write down f250 um quite a modern blender and food processor with jug and power base the whole thing they wanted no they wanted 20 did they or 15 i can't remember i, was, I got it i was looking at clothes at the time so I, I didn't really hear what you were talking about but i got it for a tenner um it's worth about 30 to 35 at a push as it is because um, it doesn't have the box. So it might be a hard sell, but parted out would be worth more. So I might do that. Well, I picked up one of these. They're, they're not great, um, but I sold a few on Am at Amazon. But does anyone remember this? This is Bear from the 80s and a friend of mine had this. Quite a mad game, which involves you doing dares. Yeah. yeah it's a pain to check and on ebay they don't sell for a lot but it's no. one that i store away for christmas yeah and they wanted five for it didn't they and you walked away and then came back and then they still wanted five for it and you said you'd give them two and they said well we'll sell it to you for three and then it went back and forth i you wasn't that away, bothered and then eventually you decided to go back and buy it yeah it's only because i know it sells <laughs> okay on amazon yeah. that was the same store where they sold me the zagor one for whatever that was three yeah. and then then they wanted five for dare it's like yeah, it's a bit odd. whatever um i think that's all i bought in yeah this, oh that's a fail this thing oh. that i it's a coffee it's a tassimo they might not be able to hear me the tassimo coffee machine um we saw one at the car boot sale and i couldn't be bothered to pick it up it was so heavy and we because we were in the mini we didn't take our little granny trolleys yeah because they won't fit in it 
And so we just had IKEA bags, and I couldn't be bothered to pick one up at the boot sale. But I want to start experimenting a bit more with that sort of stuff. Yeah. So we saw one at the Garage Trail. We got chatting to a lovely couple, didn't we? And then I just I bought it for a tenner, and it's not worth much more than that. Might get twenty out of it. So yeah, I need to. That will force me to do a bit of research and find out which coffee machines are worth picking up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I feel like it's I've a, been. It's a brawn one, isn't it? Yeah, brawn Tassimo. Yeah. If you see one looking like that, worth a fiver max, if you're going to bother. Yeah. Unless you just want it for yourself. <laughs> yeah. And I don't drink coffee. Yeah. You drink coffee? Yeah, but I'm. Well, I don't like those coffee machines, though. I don't like the waste of the, the little cups, the little things that you can't recycle. Yeah. Anyway, how are we doing? <laughs> Oh, it's five past already. Yeah. Oh, that was good timing. Look at the chat. Um, Richard Payne is saying, echoing what I was saying, that he looks at both completed and sold to see how regularly an item sells and how many go unsold and for what price. Yeah, yeah. it gives you the overall picture, not only what's sold. Because to be honest, if you go into just what's sold, you can get a really skewed idea and think, oh, look, these go really well. Whereas there might have been a thousand other ones that didn't sell. And the ones that you see selling were actually relisted X amount of times within that three month period. So, yeah. Um, John says, out of interest, Nick, what is the longest amount of time you've had an item in stock before you sold it? Years and years and years. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We were talking about this not long ago. We've got stuff in the loft. We've still got 90% of that sports shop yeah. stock in the loft from three years back. Does he mean that stuff that we've got listed? Uh, that hasn't know. sold? Maybe. There's some things stick around for months, don't they? Yeah. And eventually I mark them down and then get shot. Mm. Yeah. Um, 14 months is my longest item, says Peter Hill. I think I can beat that <laughs> quite easily. Um, <laughs> Lisa said, don't tell us to hear about the Tassimo machine. Yeah, we, we did have that conversation. We yeah. would be impressed. <laughs> I think in Zaheer's world, this this is cheap, nasty crap. Um, Raz says, do you use Camel, Camel, Camel? Yes, I do, to research FBA stuff and get a bit more information. What I use Camel for is to find out how regularly an item sells. Um, I tend to, to a certain extent, ignore the rank on an item. And if I can, just find out how regularly it sells. Um, Watching ads, someone said those coffee machines sell well on Facebook. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I have experimented a little bit with selling on the Facebook. I haven't used, I haven't done it since there's the new marketplace thing. Yeah. I've just used those groups before. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. Because then you circumvent the old eBay fees and PayPal fees as well. Oh, that just reminds me. I still, I, I sniped uh, an amp off eBay and messaged the guy through eBay saying, I paid for it via PayPal. I messaged him saying, when can I come pick it up? And I've not had anything back. This was about three days ago. And I realized that I, I went back into the listing and he's put a phone number in there. So I'm supposed to ring him up to arrange it. I was going to do that today as well. Yeah. Not enough hours in the day. Oh, Dave said we that they could hear me or he could hear me back there with our super mic. Oh, wow. That's good. <laughs> good to know. Um, would be good to see a fails video. <laughs> Save up all my fails for a video. Shane Bob says, would you have been better buying a van? Well, no, because <laughs> this isn't meant to be a, a car that we use for, this for is our This is our this fun is, car. Yeah. This is uh well this is I've always I've always had just a small car that I can use to run around in and you have 
you have the estate that we use for work and for stock and all of that um so yeah this is to replace my little car that's died a death really yeah we traded in the old kia yeah. and kissed it goodbye yeah yeah and i've always is... wanted a mini and we thought we were going to get a quite an old mini and not a vintage one but an older model and um and then we got talked into buying a slightly newer one well <laughs> we we test drove the up-to-date brand new model mm. with it all singing all dancing heads up display and stuff yeah, all of this um, gadgetry we were really seduced by we it, almost bought we? a brand new one which we've never bought a brand new new car it's it's really hard to justify it financially you, you lose so much money on a new car um so this was the compromise we've still spent more on this than we we've ever had on a car yeah um but atari helped fund it so it's all good <laughs> <laughs> and you have to indulge yourself once in a while we we rarely treat ourselves we, so. we really do we for years we've yeah. not really so it's nice to it, have it's something it's a rare occasion that we'll do something like this yeah it? but it is it's lovely yeah. it's it's yeah anyway <laughs> <laughs> um one man riot let's do that question how often do you do a stock clear out and get rid of it get rid of old unsold stock and what do you do with it good question um i'm starting to do that more often um so i would say every sort of three or four months now i will get quite ruthless with marking down prices on older stock or bundling stuff up or just taking it off ebay and and moving it on and then what we tend to do is do a car boot sale we've already done two this season haven't we and cash it back in it's a great it's a really satisfying way of, of releasing some stock and just getting back you can even make money on it there and then which we have done on quite a lot of stuff or you just sell it for what you bought it for at the car boot sale in the first place you get all of that cash back and you can then reinvest that generally with me on the same day at the same car boot so <laughs> i will reinvest that money in faster moving better stock yeah um and what what we tend to do is we'll do a boot sale and we won't bring much home we'll go straight to generally cancer research we like to donate to uh, and give it all away what's left yeah. that's how we do it um, um not your nana said um andrew if you're interested in having a coffee machine you can now get refillable coffee capsules that you pop on into your that you pop your favorite blend into uh, really great innovation is that sort of brand specific or is that something that works <coughs> with every every brand of coffee machine but it's a really good idea and i hope that they all go down that route to be honest yeah, yeah. we watched a little documentary or something on the one show where all those little black things are non-recyclable yeah, exactly and they're filling up landfill exactly. They should just force the firms to make those recyclable. We all have these great big blooming recycle bins well, in our we kitchen. Well, we have this issue with um, takeaway cups, don't we? With you know, there is the um, the wherewithal to actually make recyclable cups, um, but the big brands like Starbucks and Costa, they're not using them. The government needs to force things to be recyclable. Right. Let's see what else we've got in here. Gary we've... Peskett says do you name your cars i named my last one <laughs> yeah have up yeah mine's, generally we do mine's not named you don't mine's called mr workhorse <laughs> your last car that we, we've just got rid of was called kc yeah that's only because it was part of the kc was the first two letters of the reg this one we're not sure yet are we no we'll have to see if anything can come up with something but we think it's a girl yeah i say we just call it mini <laughs> um oh gary says was the kia called aura <laughs> that would have been quite clever but no it wasn't yeah. um are you allowed to send electricals through ebay gsp i'm pretty sure yes you can because i have i know zahir sent some pretty big bulky hi-fi through gsp as well mm. i think unless he shipped that himself he was talking about stuff going to scandinavia recently i think yeah some of the expensive stuff i don't know if to hear in the chat actually i'm not no, seeing him, seen him 
Um, okay, so thanks for the questions. There's been some really good questions tonight, actually, really helpful. Um, uh, Why is your audio so much better than audio from your videos a few months ago? Because we have a fancy new microphone. Have you not been watching recent videos? I, I invested in a snowball, one of those. And I've worked out how to make it work now. Yes, and to unmute us from... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you well, came in late to this chat, for the first couple of minutes, we were just going... Because I hadn't unmuted myself. Okay, right. Let's just get to the end of the chat, and then we will wrap this up. What brand is your new mic? Sounds great. And you, Yeah, it's called a blue snowball. So if you just search blue snowball microphone, you can get them on Amazon and eBay. Um, I think brand new on Amazon, they were about 50. I paid 40 for that one off eBay. And then it arrived in a box just crushed, yeah. which I made another video about. Um, Lucy says that Ellen could call our car, call our car Declan. I'm sure she'd love to. <laughs> or Josh, or Tyler. <laughs> yes, she's fanatical about music and bands. So. Yeah. Um, coffee cup lids are filling landfill by the millions. Yep. Oh, oh Adrian likes the shirt. Yep, I did read it out earlier. Hopefully you can read it there. <laughs> um okay um lucas jones said if i start a jumble trail do i have to do any work i.e advertising etc do people print out their own maps um well i think that you i think if you're organizing it you probably need to do the maps and yes you would need to advertise it sort of locally facebook um posters all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, we are plan still planning to do one, yeah. a jumble trail that is. I don't know if it will happen, we've been so busy this year. Um, so we'll let you know. Apparently there's a website that, that does a lot of the organisation yeah. for you. And there is a Facebook um, group or page just called Jumble Trails, um, yeah. which I think you can use to to promote as well. So we will have a go at doing one hopefully this yeah. summer, maybe this autumn um now. in Hitchin and we'll let you know how we get on with that but the one we went to today is in a village like five miles from here and we hadn't heard about it and we t try to keep our you know ear to the ground for this sort of stuff mm. and it really wasn't promoted that well so yeah the key with these is is getting the word out there but then again we're kind of doing it to to get all of this tat out of people's houses so <laughs> perhaps we don't want everyone hearing about it <laughs> Just tell ourselves, just let ourselves know. <laughs> We're the only person people go around. But no, that's yeah. not the point. Um, so yeah, we are planning on doing one soon. And the, the cool thing about it is the, the website, I believe, you can set it up with a charity of your choice. So everybody that pays to be part of it, it all goes direct to that charity. So their five pound for to be part of the trail or whatever it is, goes to a charity. And then Lucas says, where would you give out the maps? But I think that the first one we ever went to, the first people um, on the map had maps to sell. Yes. Um, the one we went to today, they were just given, everybody had maps. On Every the store today had, giving them out. had the maps so yeah. they, they'd give you one. But I, I preferred it the other way where, where it was advertised, they said, come to this house on this street and it starts from 10 a.m. or whatever it is. And there they were, they were actually selling the maps at 50p each. Yeah. So we're thinking of doing it for guides and thinking of having the guides starting it and selling the maps. Yeah. So it would be a fundraiser for raising opportunity for the guides as well. So they could have a yeah. stall and they could be selling the maps. And then from there, everyone will follow the map around all of the stalls. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll let you know how we get on. We have a lot of things on our plate. We still haven't got our T-shirts gone live on merch. That's a plan for next week. But yeah, I want to do my tax do return. Tax. Oh, my goodness. I want to get tax just on. out of the way. So that's done. Yeah. So we're going to have, yeah, fun week. And I've got a room full of Lego that I still haven't sorted and finished. And I need to finish that video. Yeah, and I'm drowning in receipts currently. <sighs> 
Ah, oh, I hate him. <laughs> tax return is so dull. Mm. Yeah, Kevin, have you started merch yet? Mm, no, we're all ready. We've yeah. just been, yeah, our brains have been on other things. Um, yeah, I think it threw us last week having David here as well because he was here for like three days, wasn't he, in the end? Yeah. What are they talking about there? It's back. Oh, no, it's back. Panic over. Mine is fine. Oh, eBay. See all orders pay page isn't working. Oh. Right. Anyway, OK, we'll wrap this up now. It's quarter past nine. Um, if any of you crazy people are up late, I will be live again on my channel, on this channel at one in the morning with a whole bunch of the American reseller friends I have over there drinking beer and talking tat. So, yeah, join us if you can. If not, no worries. It will be on my channel. You can watch it at your leisure. So there you go. Which I'll be doing because I'll be asleep. <laughs> yes, Andrea, the sensible one in this relationship, will be in bed at that I don't point. Know, don't know about that. <laughs> but... um, yeah, and thanks for joining us today. Uh, we almost got to 200 viewers again, which just blows my mind every time. We've currently still got 177 watching, so thank you for enduring this for an hour and a quarter. Um, please give us a thumbs up. Um, it just lets us know that you enjoy it and that, you know, we're doing something right, hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully I'll see some of you later. So hope you enjoyed that and we'll catch you. We'll yeah. be back on Tuesday again with Zaheer. Um, we haven't started alternating that between our channels yet. So it's going to be on this channel on Tuesday for the next couple of weeks because we have some really, really cool guests lined up. So join us on Tuesday for that. Until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Yeah, Have a good week, everyone. Bye. Bye.